This Week in Jamaica Now. The controversy over the photos of lost students dressed for the dance hall. Was it hypocrisy? Eight shot, three fatally in Westmoreland. The security minister says the government has a handle on crime. And the PMP has rejected a claim by the minister that it is responsible for the upsurge in crime. Official warns that Europe could step up the pressure for Jamaica to abolish the death penalty. We do take measures and we do reflect that in our policies. One down. Primary students relieved after day one of PEP test. And emotional Canadian politician and American pastor among 33 to receive Jamaican citizenship. I'm Nicoy Wilson in for Damian Mitchell and this is Jamaica Now. The University of the West Indies Mona is supporting its law students amid an intense controversy after social media images depicting them in dancehall attire. The photo shoot was to promote the Mona Law Society organized Mr. and Miss Law 2019 competition dubbed Jamaica Rewind from a Taller Time. Prominent attorney at law Peter Champagny set off a firestorm when he penned a letter rejecting the invitation to attend the expo, saying the photos were unacceptable. On social media, other renowned attorneys lashed out against Champagny. The Mona Law faculty head Dr. Leighton Jackson said the students were well within their rights to depict Jamaica's reggae and dancehall culture in the way they did. Terror reigned in Westmoreland on Monday as eight persons were killed in a rampage that spanned several communities. On Cook Street in Savannah Lamar, gunmen invaded a football field and killed 18-year-old Eric Smith. Before, men armed with rifles wildly opened fire on patrons at a nightclub in Williams Field, killing three persons and injuring four others. Just before that though, there were two other murders, one in Alma District, Grange Hill, and the other in Betteltown. But the National Security Minister is expressing confidence in the ability of the combined security forces to quell the upsurge in crime, particularly in Westmoreland and St. James. In the meantime, the police have released a list of 24 wanted men believed to be behind the upsurge in criminal activities in the West. Anyone with information on any of them is being asked to call the police. And the People's National Party PMP has described as reckless a claim by National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang that the party should be blamed for the current upsurge in murders, especially in St. James. Chang argued that the PMP's decision not to support the extension of the state of public emergency acted as a catalyst for the current situation. But the PMP has rejected Chang's claims and accused him of politicizing the country's crime problem. In Europe this week, Vice President of the European Parliament said Jamaica could face more pressure to abolish the death penalty. The punishment has not been enforced in the Caribbean for more than 30 years in some instances, but it still remains on the books. The question is, what more can we expect? Well, what can we do? We can step up the pressure. We can step up, of course, uh, the, the efforts. Uh, you know, I can't speak uh, on, uh, on behalf of the European Union as, uh, as such, but I can say that uh, whenever I had the opportunity as one of the two vice presidents for human rights and whenever I had the opportunity in the past in different bilateral talks, uh, I would be very, very, let's say, if I may use the word, uh, push in this respect. Mr. Talichka was speaking at a press conference during the 7th World Congress against the death penalty. The four-day Congress culminated in Brussels on Friday with a march through the capital. Final year primary school students have now completed the first in a series of tests for the primary exit profile PEP. On Tuesday, they sat the ability component of the first ever PEP exam. PEP replaced the grade 6 achievement test, GSAT. Many students expressed relief after the first sitting but they must now prepare for the other tests. The Gleaner took to the streets to test if adults were ready for PEP. Paul, who is 54 years old, is three times older than his son, Daniel. Daniel is two years older than his sister, Leah. How old is Leah? A, 16, B, 18, C, 20, or D, 49? Right. And him, him three years older than his son. So, obviously, him son are going to be 51. Is he that 18 or 20? 20. It was an emotional day for some of the 33 people who were on Thursday sworn in as Jamaican citizens. Among the new citizens are Dr. Shane Alexis, the People's National Party caretaker candidate for St. Mary Southeast, and Harry Daniel Myers, a pastor. Pastor Danny, as he is affectionately called, now lives in Arakabesa, St. Mary. 
In 2014, he bought an old warehouse in the St. Mary town, and five years later, he is operating it as a community center. Me because I'm so excited. I express my gratitude and excitement of becoming a citizen of this beautiful country. When I was 17, I visited Ocho Rios on a cruise ship and climbed Dunn's River Falls. When the ship was leaving, tears were in my eyes because I did not want to leave. It has been my dream to be a citizen of Jamaica for over 20 years. Having this status, I will be able to assist the people in our area in more of an official ways, such as a JP and a marriage officer. God bless Jamaica, the land I love. The way is now clear for the Constant Spring Market in Manor Park, St. Andrew to be demolished to facilitate expansion works on Constant Spring Road. The Supreme Court on Thursday lifted the temporary injunction preventing the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, KCMC, from forcibly removing vendors at the Constant Spring Market. Attorney at law Bert Samuels, who represented the vendors, confirmed that the court refused to grant any further injunctions, paving the way for the KCMC to evict market vendors. The temporary injunction was imposed by the Supreme Court after a vendor, Nicole Soudien, made an application on the basis that the action by the KSAMC to evict him from the market breached his constitutional rights as a licensee on the property. Vendors were previously given a March 31, 2018 eviction date, but that was later extended to September 30, 2018. Kingston Mayor Delroy Williams said the market will now be handed over to the NWA to undertake the demolition as part of the multi-billion dollar upgrade works along the Constant Spring Road corridor. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Nicoy Wilson and before we go, watch as members of the public try to tackle more pep questions. There are five teams in a basketball competition. Each team must play each of the other teams once. How many games will each team play? A, one, B, four, C, five, or D, 20? Five. Four. The four. Five. Slow is to fast, as young is to A, age, B, history, C, old, or D, years. Old. Age. Age. Slow is to fast, as young is to old.